This video is sponsored by Wingfox. Wingfox is an online tutorial platform where you can get high quality tutorials and at any point in time you want to learn anything that has to do with game art, motion graphics, graphic design, animation, CG and VFX or even film production. So for anyone who wants to pick up a skill or you want to hone your skill, Wingfox is the right place for you to be. And right now they're offering a high precision female portrait making course for 45% off. So if you're an artist or you're a beginner and you want to learn how to make high quality 3D models or high quality portraits, this course is definitely something that I would recommend for you. So to get this link is going to be in the description so you can do well to check this out hey what's up guys and welcome back to ask nk today we have some interesting news coming from the folks at substance and it has to do with the fact that substance 2021.1 or point one is now finally here now this is a it's a very good and lovely time to see tools like this get all of the nice updates that we're going to take a look at and for this particular release they have about three major stuff that they're looking at as the main release features that you can go ahead and play with. Without further ado, let's take a look at the very first one. The first update which is here or the first new feature is the geometry mask. This is definitely going to increase and change the way people work with Substance Painter. Now this looks quite similar to what we had in Substance Painter 2020.2 and the idea here is for you to be able to select different geometries at any time. So you can paint any geometry at any time regardless of where this geometry exists in space. So just in case you're trying to paint stuff and it gets obscured by a different geometry, right now you can easily on hide that geometry or hide the geometry and paint. Now something else which makes sense is you can mask these geometries by simply using a dedicated button that is by the side of every single layer. And this is actually one of the things that makes me remember the previous updates to the UDIM selection tool that was existing in Substance Painter 2020.2. So this one works in that way as well so you can mask by geometries and this masking can be selected based of the hierarchy that is within the drop down section over at the properties you know at the properties tab or you can make that selection directly on the viewport or you can also make that selection by simply using the uv of course it's going to change the way a lot of people work as well and this is one of those cool features that comes in very very handy now for those who like to compare and contrast what this looks like with the previous version of substance which is 2020.2 and also compare with what this looks like in 2020.1 i'm going to put a link in the description so that you guys could go ahead and take a look at this so quite similar but i kind of think that this is more revamped and it looks a bit more better than what we originally had in the previous version so this would make a lot of people now create complex things regardless of where and how they would go ahead and paint this because it's just very nifty and nice for anyone to work with it so there is also that option where you can still select the uv if you want to hide things based off uvs and you also have that selection you know that selection mode where you can select things based of geometry as well and with this said there's also another very cool update that's available and this has to do with the effect so normally when you're playing with substance painter sometimes you want to have the same effect across several models and right now it's very easy for you to do this so you can now easily hit the copy ctrl c and go over to the layer where you're painting and hit the ctrl v to do that or you can easily copy this quickly or duplicate this and copy quickly to another layer by simply holding down alt click and drag and that way you would make quick copies or simply hit ctrl d on your keyboard so with this let's take a look at something else i think a lot of people will smile about this has to do with stitching so have you ever wanted to stitch stuff in substance and you're wondering where do i get the stitch alpha from is the stitch alpha the best and you know all of those questions kind of pops up whenever you would like to do some stitching but now it is even way easier so the folks at adobe have released a set of nice contents that you can now use so for those who like to stitch things across their model right now this is very easy as you would have access to three different kinds of stitching there's the simple straight stitch the cross seam and the complex so for that of the stitching you can procedurally change how you want things to be you can select based off a drop down button which and which you like and at the same time you can use this 
to stitch stuff across your model. So for those looking for complex stitching, you're, you're looking for cross seam stitching, or you're looking for that multiple straight or single kind of stitching right now, this is something that is very, very available. Of course, we're going to go ahead and do a walkthrough of how you can get playing with this. But for the folks that would like to take a look at how to get started with this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will take you over to the documentation so that you can see how this one works. Meanwhile, the folks at Adobe have also announced that the IRA engine that is existing in Substance Painter now has full support for NVIDIA RTX 3000. So if you have any of the 3000 series cards, you have an Ampere card, right now you can simply leverage off that performance and get some very cool faster renders right there in Substance Painter. So cool updates are here and of course I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Meanwhile, for those who like to read more about the previous version of Substance Painter, and if you want to read more about this one, I'm going to put a link in the description so that you guys can do well to check this one out. And it's very lovely to see that the folks at Substance continually release stuff like this. And for those looking for free assets, you're looking for free atlases, they've released a couple of things that you can get for free. You can simply go over to source.substance3d.com and get some of these cool things. Link to this is also going to be in the description, so do well to check this one out. Meanwhile, for those who are looking for ways to create high precision portraits and maybe you want to learn how these things are done or you're just a beginner in 3D and you're looking for ways to learn how to make photorealistic models, then this course from the folks at Wingfox is something that you should definitely take a look at. Right now, this is offered at 45% off and it goes through a whole lot of things that you can learn. So for those looking at ways that they can get started with ZBrush, you're looking for how you can play with Maya to get that nice hair, or you're wondering how you can set up your skin textures in Mari, or do some very incredible texturing with Substance, then you will definitely find this one very rewarding. With over 50 hours of video footage, you would definitely find a lot of things right here. So for those who are looking for ways to hone their skills and maybe get better at something that they have started working on, or you just want to start doing 3D and you're wondering how you can make that very high precision model, then this is definitely something that will take you from point A to point B. So for those who like to grab this, I'm going to put a link to this in the description so you can do well to check this out. And that's about it. A huge shout out to the folks at Substance for releasing this new cool version of Substance 2021.1. And for those who like to see a full walkthrough, of course, we're going to schedule a full walkthrough soon so you can take a look at it. And you can also take a look at the Substance Store, take a look at the release notes and get good with some of the cool things that you can grab from here tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and not like see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace